so what is up guys this is Vaid from creative pt and i'm back with a new tutorial now in this video i'll be showing you how to restore your device to stock ram and without any custom recovery obviously this method will require a pc and it's better if you have a windows pc because i'll be doing the whole tutorial on that and it will require your stock ram obviously and your phone a data cable and it's better if you have an internet connection because if anything goes wrong you can check that out so without any further extension let's get started okay so first thing you need to do is to open up the software i will be using sp flash tool for my device it's mtk6580 but if you have another chip set you can obviously go to google and search for your specific software there's tons of software for flashing your device now please note that this method won't require any i mean any custom recovery or you even don't need to turn on your phone it will flash your device while it's turned off so once you have opened it we'll just go back to the device and and do some tricks okay the first step is to turn off your phone so let's go and do that And this is the only thing you need, to, you need to do with your phone so and the rest of the thing you need to do is on the PC so let's get back you might face a problem when you turn on I mean start the software for the first time it might show you an error so if you face that thing just click on ok and then when the software starts click on scatter loading and select the scatter file from your software folder it will be right there so once you have selected that click on download now don't worry about it it won't require internet connection because it's just it will just download the software to your phone now let's go and connect our device it's better if you, it's better if you have a removable battery so that you can remove it but if you don't don't worry about it just go ahead and connect your device while it's power off mm -hmm. then let's just go there and connect our device mm -hmm. As you can see now once you detect your device it will just flash your device to default mode the stock ROM let's wait for the process to be finished So this process will take some time so i'll be back when it's almost finished okay so and yeah it's almost done it's 91 percent now it took me about like five minutes or so don't worry it will depend on your the speed of your phone and the pc just a couple of minutes to go oh showing the time right here it took me like seven minutes just a minute and yeah it's done now once it says success and this and this logo pops up it means that your flashing is successful now let me just go and just boot up my device just to make sure that it's now just to note that i was in San Jose mod 13 now i just got back to my stock room just now. Now the first boot will take some time obviously and it's you know Now 
now you can close it right obviously and that's it guys just now go and enjoy your new phone but don't forget to like share this video and obviously comment if you face any problem just below it and i will try to uh, try my best to reply it uh, to solve your problem obviously and just hit the subscribe button to stay with us and don't forget to share this video to, with your friends so that if they face this problem they can get out of here okay guys goodbye and have a nice day